Infinity Pool is a film by director Brandon Cronenberg, son of David Cronenberg. Now I'm actually, I've seen a lot of Brandon's work to be honest. I enjoyed Possessor, it, it made the top uh, five list of my 2020 list. Uh, I also have seen Antiviral and uh, I think he did Cosmopolis, I'm not sure. But I, I've seen a few of Brandon Cronenberg's films though, so I was excited to see this one. This one is about James Foster. He is a writer's block induced writer who's looking for inspiration. So he's on vacation with his uh, very wealthy wife, M. And the two of them are in the fictional country where they have a lot of barbaric rules. So they're staying at the resort. They're told to stay at the resort, however, uh, James meets Gabby, who is a fan of his book, very rare thing, but also uh, her, hus her husband, um, Arland, and uh, they basically sort of coax James out of his shell to go on a beach picnic uh, outside of the resort walls, and uh, they get in trouble, and James ends up becoming at the mercy of their kind of fascist but very barbaric police system, the justice system, in which uh, if you bribe, you can get out of it. And then, uh, so basically that's the concept. You're in a fictional foreign country and you find out that you the rules basically don't apply to you as long as you have enough money. So James basically likes the sort of uh, getting away with the crime, not of sorts and his wife is terrified she sort of just wants to leave but he pretends to lose his passport or maybe it was taken but basically James uh, gets sort of uh, inducted into this weird little tourist group of hedonistic sort of uh, criminals uh, they've all done it before and they've gotten away with it so now you know they they have sort of brought James into their fold and they sort of peer pressure him into doing more and more dangerous things and try drugs and, and do all these weird hedonistic things that uh, try to push him to his depths of his uh, human depravity. So Infinity Pool is a super ambitious film. I really liked it. It had so much going on for starters. It starts off as a very simple film, but then you get those rich themes of like satire, of the rich going on vacation, towards them exploitation, uh, you know, the upper crust bribing. You know, I've heard stories of, you know, people in Thailand don't have their motorcycle license and uh, they can bribe the police because, you know, the most of the police can do is keep you in jail for a day, but you don't want to waste a day of your vacation, so you'd rather just bribe the police officer. And um, so that, that happens right now. But this is sort of a metaphor for that taken to 11. And um, we sort of get like the themes of like masculinity and how far you'll go, your boundaries, you know, like human consciousness. It really dives deep and swings. Sometimes they don't always hit, but, you know, at least the movie's really, you know, going, is going for broke, which I really liked. And incredible performances from everyone. I mean, the, the wife doesn't do much, but Alexander Skarsgård's really great in this very physical performance. But Mia Goth is like this seductress character. She's one of the scene stealers of the, of the movie. But those two are sort of like the, the top build. And you get some smaller actors in there, but they, they make their mark too, even though they're not too noticeable. So Infinity Pool is a very strange, hypnotic, dynamic film with some crazy hallucinogenic scenes, but also rich themes, and it's very visceral and very weird. It, it reminded me of a Yorgos Lanthimos film, but uh, definitely worth checking out. I give uh, Infinity Pool an 8 out of 10.